We are in the Dell PowerEdge Architecture Lab, and today we are excited to talk to you about our latest Edge server, the XR4000. This little box is an entire server containing this little package. So Delmar, what can you tell us about this box? Well, let's start with a CPU. Let's open it up. So tell me what we have in here. So under the heatsink, you'll have an Intel Xeon D CPU. You've got four DIMMs, so four memory channels. We have the Dell Boss NVMe M.2. And then we have four additional M.2 NVMe M.2 slots in this card. So on the Boss card, you can actually do RAID, NVMe RAID. Now, we also have four 25 gig SFP ports up here or 10 gig SFP, depending on the CPU selection. So CPUs can range from four to 20 cores, incrementing by four. In the front, you have a mini display port. You have two USB ports, and then you have an RJ45 port for iDRAC. So wait, you have iDRAC, you have all this compute. This really is a fully integrated server in this little package right here. It is, including the fans. The fans are in this server itself. So as you're installing, installing that, you'll notice there's two servers in this chassis. That's right, but I thought this was able to support vSAN. How do you get that with only two servers? Well, there's a third server right next to those two. It's right there. This? Yeah, why don't you pull that out? That is the witness node. Well, what's a witness node? That's what allows us to do vSAN in this small form factor. So this is actually a third server. That's a third server. So it's got an Intel Atom processor, M.2 mm -hmm. storage, memory. That's a self-contained server. So you get vSAN in this tiny little box out on the edge. Exactly. So I see we have this back here. What is this for? This is the intelligent filtered bezel. It actually has a sensor built into it that will tell iDRAC when it's dirty. Wait, so there's no guessing and when you need to change your filter out? No, it'll tell you and then you go replace it. I worked with a customer at a coffee shop once and this would have been perfect for that. Uh, we think of a coffee shop as a clean place. We go there to get some coffee and a pastry and it's, it's clean. We yeah. eat there. Uh, but to a compute device, it actually is true edge. Well, when you think about it, you have coffee grinds potentially flying through the air, clogging up the cooling unit. Uh, you could have an oven creating excess heat around the system. This can support 55C ambient temperatures. You could ask me walking by bumping into it. So no matter where you put this thing, it can fit anywhere on the edge. It's this tiny box that you can put anywhere. Yeah, so it's 350 millimeters deep. That's about a little under 14 inches. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So you call this a stackable chassis. Can you tell me a little bit what that means? Sure, let me grab another XR4000 and I'll show you. Here we go. So we just stack these together and they just clip together? Yeah, these little silver latches on the side allow it to clip together. So I noticed the back of this one looks a little different than the previous one. What can you tell me about this? So you'll notice there's a GPU in that top U right there. Okay, so this is actually a bigger server. This is a 2U? It's a 2U. So it's actually the same server on the bottom. There's a riser that brings it up to the second U and then you can install a full length, double width, 300 watt GPU. In this case, we have the NVIDIA A30. So we're putting 300 watt GPUs in this tiny box out in the edge. Yes. But what about customers that don't need a GPU? What about customers who maybe need networking cards or maybe Sinky or P2P? So we do support various network cards. You can add additional storage capacity up there. So there's some flexibility there. Offers everything you need in the edge environment. Yeah. But you called this a stackable chassis. It sounds like maybe there's another version of the chassis. What can so, you tell me about that? So we do support a VESA mount option also. So you can install the VESA mount on a wall and then slide the chassis oh, nice. right onto the VESA mount, just like you would a TV. So you can put this server anywhere. You don't need to make space for it. Oh, I noticed that this color coding is common what we call uh, cold aisle support. So it looks like potentially you can put this into a rack somewhere and you can actually support it by cabling it from the front. Yeah, all the IO and cabling will be on, on one side. You never have to access the back. Okay, so you have a small edge environment, not a lot of space, push it all up against the wall and you can still access it to actually get to all your ports, all your servers, the witness node, you can service the fans too. The fans come out with the server. So you were saying that this is actually a uh, stackable chassis. Does that mean there's another version for racks? We also offer a rackable chassis. So that chassis will support up to four 1U servers. Okay. Plus the witness node. Okay. So you can do four of the 1U or you can do two of the 2U or other combinations? Exactly. And you can start with one server mm -hmm. and then add more as, as you need the additional capacity. So in a two rack, 
space, now we get up to four servers or we get two plus GPU support and a two nodes option. We still have the witness sled. It'll give us full vSAN support. Yes. So this really is a fully integrated multi-server solution designed for the edge in a small box. Impressive, isn't it? It is. Thank you so much for showing this to me. My pleasure. For more information, go to Dell.com.